Hi, I'm Erin Jordan, Senior Account Director and Partner at Locker Sands and one of PR Council's board members on the inaugural Shadow Board PRC Next. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is constant learning, which is something that is really near and dear to my heart. Um, I think you know there are a lot of articles out there about some of the best leaders being constant learners, but um, you know that can be easier said than done in our industry. You know it's very fast paced and. Um, sometimes I think that can get a little bit left behind. Uh, at Walker Sands, one of our core values is learn, support, do. Um, so I'm constantly always thinking about you know, new ways to engage my team and, and learn better about different industries and uh, better service our clients. Um, so today I want to just talk a little bit about some of the different forms that constant learning can take and some ways to think about it that may help you um, be able to do that more frequently without you know, putting as much effort into it as I think it can sometimes be kind of a scary thing. Um, you know, the first thing really is that I think we're so lucky as PR professionals because you can learn every day from your work. Um, you know, we get to work with several different industries. We get to learn more about, you know, what our clients are doing. We get to constantly be scanning the news and, and learning about that. And at the same time, we're also constantly seeing how the industry is evolving. Um, so, you know, for me, I'm really lucky that I work in B2B technology and, and I've worked over the past several years with every industry from, you know, retail technology to healthcare um, to financial tech. And so, um, I get to learn about those industries and I think just being kind of a, a constant sponge that can soak some of that up and come really curious is the best possible thing that you can do to further your career. Um, another thing to really think about is just to look around for outside organizations. Um, so whether that be you know PR council or a local chapter of um, an organization in um, public relations or marketing, um, or whether that be actually taking a class at somewhere like a general assembly, um, or even expanding that knowledge outside of the industry that you're working in. So um, networking with people that are uh, in a different part of marketing than you, learning a little bit more about paid um, or website, that can be a really great thing to do. Um, another opportunity is even just to kind of further your own learning through looking into skills that you're passionate about. So for me, that is um, taking guitar classes. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time trying to further engage my own passion in that way, and I think that's led to a lot of creativity in my career just through being able to kind of fuel excitement and passion that way. So I think as constant learners, sometimes that even comes in a form that's a little bit outside of what you would think of uh, in your job. Um, and you know, I, I think another thing to think about is that learning can come in a lot of different ways. And so sometimes that's even just kind of pushing yourself beyond where, you know, your comfort zone is. Um, for me, most recently, you know, I had an opportunity to speak on stage in an event that was really kind of beyond my wildest dreams. And I think that that really allowed me to kind of push and um, grow my confidence in a new industry, um, position myself to learn a lot more about public speaking um, and getting on stage. And so those skills are something that I think will come in handy, you know, down the line. So really just pushing out of your comfort zone can be, you know, a really great way to do that. Um, you know, in general, I think the, the goal as, you know, marketing and public relations drives forward, um, the industry really continues to shift and there's so much value for us as public relations um, professionals and just, just learning a little bit more about, you know, whether that be driving, you know, our own careers forward, driving our organizations forward, or really driving forward the work that we're doing with our teams and our clients. Um, thinking about being constant learners as being top of mind is just really key. So, you know, I'm always happy to engage with other uh, people that are interested in talking about constant learning. I'd love to hear from you and how you're constantly learning, uh, but let's definitely keep the conversation going and uh, keep constant learning top of mind.